So this is machine, and we're gonna go over projects right here. Now these are all projects. I select right here. These projects come from these different expansion packs. And they all come with machine. There are different types of projects. And here you'll see there's break, club, downbeat, electro, hip hop, tutorial, and wide world or worldwide. So you'll notice too that if I select the project right here, it comes up here at the bottom and says edit. And down here it says read only. So you can't really edit these things, but they're telling you this is breaks. So you can actually label a project a certain type. A project can have properties too as well. Types, we have general too as well here. So this is machine, that's machine 2.0 library. Close that up too. So I can click on breaks right here. And now all the projects fill in right here. They're all populated into this one list here, one long list of every project. That's a way to see them all at once. Now to load a project's very simple. You just double click a project. It loads in. I want to get rid of a project. I come to here and say, I don't want that. I go brand new. I'll hit discard. It's gone. I'll grab this project here. I load it in. It's right there. So you can load projects really quickly and go over and look at them. My suggestion is to load projects up if it's just your first time using machine and look at where they're routed to or how they look. For example, here, my first kit is all drums. I come to here, I can hit these sounds, I can hear what they are. You can also click here, of course, and just go through the sounds quickly. Much more fast than doing that. So you can hear these sounds totally right here. And it's kind of cool. Now, once you hear the sound, click on the sound, you'll see that it's here. The kick drum, snare drum's right there. And what we also notice too here is that you'll see the routing. For example, I'm in sound. So that means the 16 sounds, right? I click the sound right here. I see that sound. There's also routing for that sound where it's going an output somewhere, right? We also see there's a group. This is a group, drum group. And this is the group. That's the audio output for the group. We're in I.O. right here. It's in and out. So we have the in and out in I.O. I want to see plugins. It says a plugin. There are plugins actually on this kick drum, kick hands. You'll see we got a frequency shifter, reverb, a maximizer here, and a perform FX. I can click on these and cut them off. You hear more of the sound now. Let's go back up a little bit more. A lot. We also have flanger, lo-fi, and cabinet. Now let's listen to it. You can hear the difference compared to all these being on. So the idea is to listen to what's in a group, check out that group, and make sure you know what you're hearing, and be sure to listen back to everything. Because a lot's going on inside of a project. So here, for example, I've got A, I've got B for bass, I got C for glitch, I got D for percussion, we have extra percussion on E, and we have SF effect on F1. So these are all groups. And these groups, you can see, I can make a sequence for each one of these groups. And so I can go back up to the top again. I'm in group A. I go back to sounds. These are sounds right here, which is kind of cool. I can see the sound, the ones that I've got here, and how it works. And we're in plug -in. If I come back up to here, I am now in output. Input and output. So these projects have a lot going on. And my suggestion is to check them out, but also listen to the drum sounds. See what you like, what you don't like. Grab stuff, put it in your own kit. Like, I normally just take a kit like this. I like that. I like that bass drum right there, right? I like the effects with it too. I will take this bass drum and I will save it. Save as. I come to here. I can save it in sounds. Hands right here. I'll save it. 
and I've saved this one setup. This will include also the effects that we see right here for the pluckins that are on this one sound. And that way, if I want to bring it back up, I can bring it back up in my own project. So you to look at everything inside of a project. There's a lot going on here. And it will teach you a lot about using the project section inside a machine.